Hey, what's up, family? It's Riss. Welcome back to my channel. Girl, today we got a good one, okay? Because y'all have been asking me left and right about my hair. Anytime my hair is relaxed or specifically if my hair is styled into a pixie cut, which it always is. I have had a pixie short hair since I was 15 and I will be 28 this year, which is crazy. So y'all were really digging this style right here and I promise you there is nothing to it, but I'm gonna show y'all anyway since that's what you want. But before we go any further and you guys get excited about the hair tutorial, I need you to get excited about something else. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Anna Louisa for partnering with me on this video to tell you guys about their fabulous Valentine's Day sale, honey. You guys should know if you've been here for a while that I am an Anna Louisa brand ambassador and I, you guys, I am obsessed with this company, okay? These are pretty much the only pieces that I ever wear nowadays. They sent me some new pieces and I wanna show you guys up close because ugh, I, ugh, I think these are my favorite earrings so far. Let me even just get in a little bit closer, okay? Y'all please look at how gorgeous these earrings are. I nearly lost my mind when they sent these over. Oh my God gosh so freaking stunning i literally cannot and y'all know that i am into like the dainty hoops now oh gosh so good girl all the jewelry that i'm wearing right now is from Anna louisa i have their mama necklace on which is definitely one of my faves and then they also sent over um this new cuban linked bracelet let me see if i can show you guys look at that so beautiful and y'all know i always wear my other bracelets from anna louisa here is this arm so i have two bracelets on each arm ah! so if you don't know anything about anna louisa they create exceptional quality long lasting jewelry pieces and they're not even that expensive you guys they have pieces starting at 39 dollars yep you heard me right they believe in their pieces so much that they offer a 365 day warranty y'all so if these pieces do not meet your expectation you can either get them replaced or get a refund so with the link in my description box you can receive 15 percent off of your entire order now valentine's day ain't just to celebrate your significant other girl okay if you celebrate and if you love yourself go ahead and spoil yourself okay get you some Anna louisa jewelry i promise you'll love them as much as i do so again huge thank you to Anna louisa for partnering with me on this video and without further ado Let's get into the tutorial. All right, y'all, so currently I have deep conditioner in my hair. It has probably dried by now. I don't have any plastic caps and I didn't feel like putting a plastic grocery bag on my head. So I kind of just, you know, let it do its thing and dry. And before we get into it, let me go ahead and show you guys the products that I have been using and loving in order to achieve healthy, relaxed hair this go around. So for my shampoo, I've been kind of switching back and forth between this one right here and you can get it at Target. This is the OGX Anti-Breakage Plus Keratin Oil Shampoo. So I was Googling the best uh, shampoos for relaxed hair and I actually came across this one. Little to my knowledge, it was at Target for, I don't even think it was more than $6. It was $5 and some change. So I picked it up and I have been loving this shampoo. I also use, so I switched back and forth between this one and a shampoo, of course, by Afaji. Afogy, however you pronounce it. Let's see, I love their green tea and keratin shampoo. It makes my hair so silky and soft, but I saw another one, it's actually in my shower right now because that's the one I use today. I saw another one that um, I've been liking, but it doesn't make my hair as soft as the green tea shampoo. Um, I believe it's like the shampoo for damaged hair, something like that. So those are the um, two main shampoos that I've been using. Now, I just introduced a new product into my healthy hair care regimen. I'm sure you've heard about it, but this is the Olaplex number three 
hair perfector. I have only used this maybe three times so far and y'all, this stuff is worth the hype. It is very expensive on the hair chart, meaning it is $28 for this itty bitty bottle. I mean, this is 3.3 fluid ounces. And I'm not sure if you can see how like tiny this is, but it is a very tiny bottle, but I will say a little bit goes a long way. So if you have like a teaspoon of hair like I do, you can use a little bit and get away with it. And I've noticed that this stuff, I don't know y'all, my hair texture this go around since I've been relaxed again has not really been bone straight. It still has some texture. It still kind of has like a curl pattern to it. And I believe this stuff is making my curl pattern kind of break through more. I don't know, it's weird. So I'm not an expert at Olaplex yet, but um, hopefully I'll become one soon because this stuff is a bomb. This is a bond builder. So in a nutshell, when you relax your hair, you're basically breaking down all of the uh, proteins, like the good proteins that give you that coily curl, curl pattern. So on the bottle, it says use one time per week and for damaged hair, use two to three times per week. So I do use this every time I wash my hair now. And then it also says leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes longer if desired. So I just put this on my head and, you know, do emails, clean up, do pretty much anything that I have to do. And then I rinse it out and go in with my deep conditioner, which by the way, um, this is, it should not be foreign to you guys. If you have ever been a part of the natural hair community, you probably already know what this stuff is. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil strengthen and restore treatment mask this stuff is the bomb y'all i loved it for when i was natural and i love it now that i'm relaxed it is just a great overall hair mask deep conditioner treatment it is so bomb so that is currently what is in my head right now or my hair right now rather so actually let me go wash this out and we'll be right back to do the mold and to style and everything look i don't know why i even try <laughs> to do my makeup before i come on here and do these hair tutorials Ugh. and this foundation that i have been using lately I, this is like my fourth time giving this foundation a chance and it just keeps proving to me over and over again that it sucks. I mean, look at my forehead. Look at my forehead. It breaks apart. It looks a hot mess. I just, oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, this is, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. My makeup is a goner. It's really going to be a wrap after I molded but anyway all right girl so my hair is washed deep conditioned and feeling so so good i mean it is just so soft and it feels really really healthy all right so now we are going to use a little bit of deep conditioner and the one that i've been liking a whole lot lately is the it's a 10 miracle leave-in product yes i know this stuff is very very expensive <laughs> I think it's like $20 for this itty bitty bottle, but it is definitely worth it. And I've noticed that um, now my hair, or not necessarily my hair, but my scalp is so dry. I have never had dandruff in the past. I have it now, I guess, because I mean, I'm blaming it on postpartum because my hair Never, ever, ever used to do this. My scalp, rather. So the reason why I like this leave-in is because it is very moisturizing and it kind of helps eliminate some of the dryness that uh, is going on in my scalp. So I just like to take it and detangle my hair with my fingers and give my scalp a good massage. I'm gonna go in with my wide tooth comb and further detangle and kind of just get my shape going, combing into the shape that um, I want to mold it in. And I used to comb my hair to my right side. However, I kind of felt and noticed that um, 
it just wasn't doing my face any justice as far as symmetry goes and so now I um, I know that molding it to this side instead of this side kind of brings a balance to my face all right so I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and do a nice little side part this is just I keep making poor choices today the sweater choice this outfit choice is not good for this tutorial I'm just gonna comb through it make sure there are no tangles and then I'm literally just combing the back straight down all right here's where the fun part comes in i have been obsessed with this molding mousse this is the pixie ish molding mousse and this was actually created by brandy lucas which is a short hair expert um i believe you can find her on instagram at i am brandy lucas and then you can go to pixie ish's um, Instagram page and their handle is at pixie ish beauty but I'll have everything linked in the description box this was kind of pricey I'm not even gonna lie to y'all it was $18 and I believe with shipping it was $24 but girl worth every single penny and I'll tell you why let me just go ahead and get to molding so this stuff I've tried pretty much every mousse uh molding mousse on the market and you guys know if you've been watching any of like my short hair tutorials from the past the nairobi rapid shine foam lotion and i actually have it is one of my favorites still but this stuff the nairobi rapid shine oh, girl let me take this sweater off because this is just all bad all right i feel liberated so like i was saying the nairobi rapid shine foam lotion is definitely one of my favorites but it is not the best when it comes to you needing a relaxer or a touch up. This stuff, if you need a touch up, it's going to lay your hair down. And as you can see, it's not watery at all. I mean, you can literally pile this stuff up on your head and it's not going to drip. It's going to stay in place. You can get your hair so flat. I mean, this stuff is just so bomb. There is no right white residue when it dries. Um, it does give you like a shine. It does give you like a nice hold, but it's not super crunchy. And you can really tell that um, she wanted to create and perfect a product that solved a problem within the short natural or short relaxed hair community you know you can tell she took her time with it and it is just an excellent um, molding mousse so if you want more information again check the description box also she is not paying me to say any of this okay I bought this with my own money because I saw her um, you know promoting it on Instagram and I was like let me just let me see because she sold me on it when she said that it's good if you need a touch up or it's good even if you have natural hair it's going to lay your hair your hair nice and flat so anyway girl so this is how i mold it i just comb it to one side comb it to one side and then the side that i do comb it on maybe do some some waves i'm gonna pull my mirror over here so that you guys can see better this foundation situation is so bad all right so i'm combing it and then i'm literally just gonna do maybe like a few waves And then on this side, I mean, there's not really any magic to this. If you want to do some waves, then feel free to do that. But I don't really, I mean, for the quick styles, I just do whatever my little heart desires, okay? All right, once it's all molded, you just want to take your hands and smooth everything down. Now, do y'all see what that mousse did i mean ugh. it's so bomb girl like ugh, brandy girl you did your thing okay all right now i'm gonna get a couple of wrap strips i like the thin ones 
Um, the thick ones kind of just, in my opinion, are a little too... I just think that the thinner ones are easier to manage. And then also you have a little bit more control with the thinner ones. It's just my opinion. So I do two. One going back and one going forward. And then I take my Velcro wrap. My mesh Velcro wrap. And I'm just going to give it one good wrap. Now I'm going to sit under the dryer and let me show you guys what I have been using for that because I no longer use a hooded dryer. So I use this, um, I don't even know what to call it exactly. I believe it's like a portable hair dryer. So basically all you do, and I ordered this from Amazon, the link will be in the description box. So it's basically like a blow dryer attachment. So you clip this underneath your chin, just like this, I know I look crazy. And then you pull this part and it'll sit on your head. And it does come with um, kind of like a towel material wrap that you can put around your neck and around your ears so that you don't get burned. So what you do, you use your blow dryer. I got this one, of course, from Amazon. And it's a blow dryer attachment. So it has this long tube-like looking thing. And basically all you do is put the blow dryer into the little attachment part, just like this, and you turn it on and it dries your hair. So I'm gonna snap this little part right here cause I'll show you guys what it does. So I'm gonna snap it. And then what I like to do is turn my iron, my uh, curling dryer, oh my God. So what I do is I like to turn the dryer on warm heat, not hot, okay? Because huh, the warm is already gonna burn you up, girl. So I'm gonna turn it on high what it does so I'm gonna go answer a few emails and you know do some things on my computer and then when it's dry we'll come back and style it up all right y'all so my hair is dry I have already taken my strips off and I kind of had a blow dry a little bit in the front since it is kind of thicker and a little bit longer in this area and it typically is the last part of my hair to dry that blow dryer is wonderful it's a um, ion something something blow dryer but it is so great it minimizes frizz the blow dryer that i was using before this one did not like it don't compare to this one okay i fixed my makeup i tried to fix my makeup so hopefully it looks a little bit better all right so let's get to curling Really quickly, I wanna share the products that I'm about to use. And both of these products were recommendations by Brandy Lucas. Again, I love her hair content, you guys. I'll have her YouTube channel linked, of course, in the description box so you can check her out yourself. She is bomb at giving short hair advice. She's also a um, licensed hairstylist, I believe. I don't know where she lives, but again, I'll have all of her information in the, the, in the description box for you because she has helped even me tremendously, even though I'm not a professional, but I have been doing this for a long time. So these two products are by the brand Influence, I believe that's how you pronounce it. So I have the curling wax, which is fabulous, y'all. As soon as Brandy started talking about this, I immediately ordered it off of Amazon because I had been looking for a curling wax that will kind of keep my curls intact, but also be a heat protectant at the same time. And then this one right here is their Thermoseal. Um, it says silky finish and uh, repels moisture and protects hair. I love both of these. You have to be careful though, because if you use too much, your hair can get a bit greasy, but these two products are fabulous and they're both heat protectant. So the first one that I'm gonna use is the Thermoseal and it smells so good. Ooh, it melted a little bit. So I am literally gonna use a tiny, tiny bit because like I said, your hair can get a bit greasy if you use too much. So this is what Brandy taught me. 
She said rub it all in your hands and on your fingers so that when you apply it to your hair, it doesn't just go in one direct spot. So I'm just going to put this all in my hair, get it all throughout, and it doesn't really matter if your mold comes up, especially if you don't do anything fancy. Now if you do have waves on the perimeter of your hair, you definitely want to be careful not to disturb those unless you go in and curl on top of it. So now I'm going to go in with the curling wax and this stuff is literally wax, okay? So it's hard. It is kind of hard to rub into your hands, but you want to get it all in your hands and then just begin to apply it. And these are the only two products that I'm going to use in my hair. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I really like to limit the amount of products that I use in my hair nowadays. So if it's a multitasker, it's good in my book. All right, now this is the star of the show. I got this little pencil flat iron, of course, off of Amazon. And all of this stuff will be in my Amazon store, linked in the description box, you guys. So make sure you check the description box. Um, I wanna say this was under uh, maybe like $16. It was definitely under $30, because I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. But this is such, such a good pencil iron, y'all. And the thing that I love most about this one, I can only use a certain type of flat iron plate in my hair. So this is a ceramic tourmaline flat iron. And that is really the only plate that kind of um, meshes with my hair, if you will. If I use titanium plate, um, and there's another plate that I can't use, but so ceramic tourmaline plates are the only type of plates that I can use. So I was so excited when I found this itty bitty pencil iron, you guys, and it's pink and black. Ah. I believe it goes all the way up to four. Yep, it goes all the way up to 450. I never put my iron up that high. Um, I used to just put it at 350 but now I'll go all the way up to like 385 390 is my sweet spot so I'm just gonna take my comb kind of break up that mold and um, I'm gonna do the back really quickly so I can't necessarily show you guys how I curl the back because I don't know what my camera is gonna do but just trust me when I say it is nothing fancy at all. I literally just go section by section and curl it under. I'll show you what the back looks like after everything is curled, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and curl it really quickly. And um, I'll show you how I do the front. So I'm actually gonna start on this side and just begin to curl. All right, so I'm finished curling the back. I will show you guys what it looks like after we're all done with the completed hairstyle. All right, so I have pretty much parted my hair in the middle, and this is where I'm gonna start to show you guys how I actually curl it. But before we do that, I'm gonna take my wax stick, and this is by Eben, I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is their 24 hour Eben Sleek Extreme firm hold wax stick and I, I guess I got the same mango so for this part what I like to do is kind of just rub the wax stick onto I'd say the edges of my hair and then I'll take my um, edge brush or the detailer brush both of these products I got from the beauty supply store and then I kind of like to just perfect um, the perimeter of the front of my hair and this is just to kind of like polish it up and make it look, um, you know, nicer than <laughs> what it looks currently, I guess. I'm still not exactly sure how I feel about this wax stick. I guess it's good. Um, it's definitely better than, uh, you know, like an edge control that kind of makes your hair greasy. All right, so I still have my flat iron set to 385 you know I'm just gonna go ahead and part the 
front of my hair and I like to work in sections. So I'm just gonna part a small part, section it off. And then what I like to do is work from the back and then just curl it forward. So I'm gonna kind of start at the crown and then curl it and I'm gonna do this all the way through. Then when I get done with the section, I'm going to take my wide tooth comb and literally just comb it down, just like that. Now I'm just going to move on to the other section. I usually do three sections when I'm doing this, so I'm going to do my second one and then we're going to move on to the last section. This section right here depending on whether you want to wear your hair forward or kind of back I'm gonna curl it back so just like this and this is gonna give me that swoop that I like in the front so you know that kind of flipped bang look just like that I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb once again and then when you curl it tightly it gives you a nice body kind of like an effortless wave so then once it's all curled I just like to go in and play with it y'all know how this part is you just kind of tweak things how you like it um, you know do some more curling if you need to and this is the fun part just kind of tweaking it to get it exactly how you want it that's my favorite part so I'm just kind of gonna hit the front one more time just so that I can get it to lay as flat as I want it to lay and girl that's pretty much it so again I'm gonna take my wax stick and kind of go over this edge right here I do have a little bit of postpartum shedding and the crazy thing is my hair did not start to shed until I was, I don't even know, maybe seven, eight months postpartum. It's really kind of weird. So for my little sideburns, what I like to do is take some more um, molding mousse and kind of just set that in place because the wax stick doesn't do um, a great job at keeping the sideburns in place. All right, y'all, so that is pretty much it. Again, I just take my comb and play in it until I feel like it looks how I want it to look. So this is what the back looks like, nice and sleek. And I'll just take my wax stick and get the spikes going. So I'm gonna take my edge brush Kind of brush the back in place, maybe do a little bit of waves and call it the day, girl. Because y'all know how I feel about my back, it's not too too important to me as long as it looks polished. I really don't care what it looks like, you know. And I do trim the back myself in case you guys are wondering. I do need a relaxer though. Um, if you can't tell all right you guys so that concludes this video I really really hope that you enjoyed it if you did you know what to do girl go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know if you still rock your pixie girl are you a pixie wearer do you still have relaxed hair let me know if you are interested in any of the products that I used during this tutorial 
please make sure that you check the description box. Also, don't forget to check out Anna Louisa's Valentine's Day sale. You can get 15% off of your order if you click the link down below in the description box. Y'all already know I love my Anna Louisa pieces and I know you will too. All right, you guys, if I missed anything or if you have any questions, make sure you leave your comment in the comment section. Subscribe if you're not a part of our growing family already. Head over to Instagram and meet me over there and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.